Well, despite the state of Connecticut launching a $1 million tourism advertising campaign, major Hartford hotels say they are just not seeing the guests to fill the rooms and don't have enough guests to pay their own bills. Uh, this layoff for employees, of course, comes at a time when the federal boost to unemployment is set to expire. The Hartford Marriott and the Hilton Hartford grace the city skyline, but their business is scraping the bottom. The Waterford Hotel Group operates them and announced temporary and permanent layoffs affecting more than 300 workers. Fox 61 obtained this letter from Nick LaRusso, the general manager of the Hartford Hilton. He says in part that they may, quote, ultimately be forced to close the hotel due to unforeseeable business circumstances resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic. He goes on to say the phase two reopening hasn't resulted in a meaningful increase in business and that the delay of phase three hurt them even more. In phase two, we, we've allowed uh, hotels broadly to open up at 100% uh, capacity, actually. So they have the ability to, to fully book their rooms, unlike many other businesses. But we understand that uh, certain hotels, again, especially those that rely on convention or business travel, they're, you know, 5%, maybe 10% occupied. Hartford's usually bustling downtown sidewalks are largely still devoid of foot traffic. And the summer nightlife is absent with the continued closure of large entertainment venues like the Yard Goat Stadium, the Bushnell, the XL Center, and the Convention Center. Where the state has put in you know, more than a billion dollars over the last couple of decades to build that facility, but it cannot be successful. It cannot attract uh, conventions without adequate hotel capacity. But as some in the hospitality industry struggle, other businesses are coming back to life. The popular Salute restaurant on the corner of Bushnell Park just turned the lights back on today, and Fox 61 was there. I love you! I love you! Welcome back. To capture the first customers coming back. They wanted to be the first customer. <laughs> I think the economy downtown is going to take a big hit. Uh, then the biggest reason being is just people coming back into work. We're still the insurance capital of the world, and I believe that by December, maybe 30% of the workforce is expected back. That's a big hit. And even there, do you think of those 30% are, are most of them going to feel comfortable going out to have lunch? Probably not. And Mayor Bronin told me that they are working with the hotel operators to get them some relief from some of their federal loan obligations. And Commissioner David Lehman told me today that there is still over $100 million that's available for many businesses in the federal PPP Paycheck Protection Program loans, uh, although he did acknowledge that more funding is needed. Reporting live in Hartford, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.